everybody. Welcome in. It's Friday again. That means it's time for another 420 Magic Sesh. I am Hobbit. And I'm JMC. We're here to get launched, share a moment with you, and tell some stories. We invite you to grab your launch box. Or your MD box. <laughs> and join us. Starting off with some cannabis news, a new study in the journal The Science of the Total Environment did an analysis on CBD products and mm -hmm. found some concerning things with this, the unregulated market. They, did, they tested um, a bunch of CBD infused edible products mm -hmm. and it turned out that 42% tested positive for lead, 37% for mercury, and 28% for arsenic. That's awful. Yeah. We don't want that in our bodies. Exactly. <laughs> so it shows the importance of buying from companies that you trust and making yeah. sure that there's some transparency in what's in these products. It's really important to know True. what's put, you're putting in your body. It's been more than three years following the passage of federal legalization of hemp-derived products, but the U.S. Food and Drug Administration still has yet to put forth any regulations. Mm -hmm. And they've done surveys and it shows that eight out of 10 consumers want these regulations. They want there to be some oversight on what's yeah. going into these products and they want some transparency on what they're putting into their bodies as well. So hopefully we'll see things move in that direction, you know. Yeah, so. hopefully. But again, it shows the importance of, uh, you know, only, only working with companies that you trust. Yeah. Yeah, know your brand. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Stay away from Jimmy brewing up CBD products <laughs> in his mom's uh, bathtub. And, just, <laughs> and it's, like, it's like any other industry, you know, people cut corners to make money. So, yeah, exactly. You know. People in it for a quick buck. And yeah. sometimes that, you yeah. know, safety isn't at the top of the priority list for those folks. Yeah. Do again. And a new study, a new study has shown that CBG administration, that is cannabigerol, which is another mm -hmm. cannabinoid that's mm -hmm. growing in popularity lately, they were injecting it into mice and they found that it actually lowered their mean blood pressure, interestingly enough. Yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, high blood pressure is, I believe, one of the top, um, they call it the silent killer. Yes. A lot of people don't know, understand uh -huh. how dangerous it can be. So it's something uh, definitely to keep an eye on, you know, and, yeah. and, to, and to be aware. You know, knowledge is always a good thing. It's always good to know more because you can make better choices that way. Absolutely. Um, interestingly enough, uh, a 2017 clinical trial showed that oral doses of CBD mm -hmm. lowered blood pressure in healthy volunteers. Mm -hmm. And last year, they showed a link between long-term cannabis use and a reduction in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Fantastic. So yeah, yeah. Some, some good news for cannabis users there, you know. Mm -hmm. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's been really fun to see the evolution, you know, from the early days uh, to, to where we are now. And yeah. big news, this weekend we are launching our new and improved website, something that we are all very excited about. And yeah. we, want to share that excitement with you by offering a 15% off coupon code storewide. So come check out our yeah. new website, www.magic-flight.com. The coupon code is newmagic22. Woo! And that'll give you a 15% discount, again, site-wide. Yeah. So we invite you to come check out all the hard work we've put into it and uh, celebrate this uh, Relaunch, or re, you know, I, I get a grand reopening, or I don't know what <laughs> what you want to call it, but it, it's it, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we yeah. definitely want you to join in with us and check that out as yeah, well. Yeah, please so. do. We look forward to seeing you there. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Yeah. One of the cool things about the job is receiving love letters and stories from our customers, and we like to take a minute and share some of that with you each week, and. Uh, what do we got this week, Jenny? All right. <laughs> Fresh off the press. Nice. Here's what we've got. Okay. <laughs> Love letter for this week. Just received my new launch box to replace my spare that's been in use for seven years. My primary launch box has been in use closer to 10 years. <laughs> wow. Seven plus yeah. years from a vape or any device of any kind in any industry is absolutely amazing. 
Absolutely. We make a quality product here. <laughs> Seriously awesome work <laughs> on the only portable vape I will ever use. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> From Jesse in Kansas. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really proud of our little babies there. <laughs> yeah, so he's, had, he's had two launch boxes, one for over seven years and one for 10 years. That's amazing. That's 17 years of launch boxing. Yeah, and they nice. still, well, they overlap, but they still both work. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. <laughs> Customers also send in pictures of their launch box from all six continents. This mm. week we have a picture of someone enjoying their launch box on the golf course. Woo! What a way to hit the links, you know? <laughs> it's, it's the only sport that you can play with a launch box in one hand and you know, I mean, there's very few sports you can play while actually vaporizing at the same time. You, you know, know what that kind of that tells you how much we know about golf. Because like, I have no idea if you uh, even uh, can do that. Admittedly, admittedly, I've only golfed once when I was a young, a, a young man, um, and it was fun. But obviously, I didn't get the bug. But maybe, maybe as I get older, I'll get into it. Isn't know. there a thing you yell like? Four, four, not no, four, four. four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's you so people it. don't get hit by the ball as, as you launch it. <laughs> Par is when you uh, get the correct amount of strokes. I guess each hole uh, has the correct amount of strokes. Oh, my <laughs> that sounded dirty, but uh, uh, woo. anyway, uh, moving right along. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's how you know it's effective, you know. <laughs> Is this working? Is this thing on? <laughs> All right, now it's time to share some interesting stories from around the world as we continue our 420 magic session. Tell us, Hobbit, tell us. I will tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> Did you know that in Tokyo, there are robots that go around and restock the shelves? Appar okay. yeah. Apparently, they keep track of which drinks are the most popular, and they be, be sure to you know run them what? out, and you know. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, apparently, the robot can stock up to one thousand bottles and cans a day. So amazing! They must be selling a lot of beverages there in Tokyo. Oh, yeah, people they drink yeah. every day, all day. <laughs> it seems like robots <laughs> are everywhere. You know, uh, here in yeah. California, we have, for example, the self checkout lines, which isn't oh, yeah. quite a robot, but it's still technology replacing a human, so yeah. I've made the personal decision to stop using them because I like to have human oh. interaction, you know, like to go through and actually see a person. And also yeah. I figure more people have jobs, you know, the, if everyone goes yeah. to the self-checkout, there's going to be nobody left to, you know, do cashiers, so. I don't know. Nah. I'm giving it a go. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give the human interaction a, a, a shot. I could see both sides to that. Yeah. Well, it, sometimes it's nice just getting in and out without dealing with people I know. too. You know, it depends on your mood. So. I just secretly want to dance with a robot. <laughs> it's a Star Trek thing again. Like, I know. <laughs> but, I mean, they already have dancing robots. It's just a matter of time, you know. So dancing with the stars is gonna be, uh, you know, one mechanoid and one humanoid or something. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't keep up with me. So I don't know. Maybe I don't want to dance with It them. would have to be a robot to keep up with you, right? <laughs> You're like the Energizer Bunny just dancing all night long. Woo! True. <laughs> nice. Woo! Good, good times, good times. <laughs> I don't know if you remember last week we talked about somebody who had smuggled uh, a bunch of reptiles and yep. uh, they were coming. In their pockets. Well, there's more lizards in the news. Oh. Apparently, uh, a resident. A uh, resident in a village north of New York City called Port Chester okay. was very startled when they went to open up a new package that they got in the mail and a bunch of lizards came flying Whoa. out of it. So you never yeah. know, you know, when you open up packages, you know, if there's going to be lizards inside. Were they supposed to be in there? They were not. It was not something that they ordered. It seems to be a case of mistaken, uh, you know, mistaken delivery. They weren't actually able to figure out who was supposed to get the lizards, so it looks <laughs> like they... Uh, they just let them go. No, the police held <laughs> held the animals at a local animal <laughs> sanctuary to, you know, so they, they took care of the lizards, you know, even even yeah. unwanted lizards are well cared for mm -hmm. in Port Chester, and that's good to, good to see. Good to know. <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> <laughs> the only thing cold blooded in that town are the lizards. But. <laughs> That's no, pretty bad. That probably won't make the cut. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, it is a good. Yeah. <laughs> also, in the uh, small northwest Iowa town of Sheldon, mm -hmm. they were celebrating their 150th anniversary of the town, okay. and they had a big shindig ready to roll, where they were gonna dig up a time capsule, All and right. you know have a big uh, affair, but All they right. ran into a small problem. 
Nobody remembers where the time capsule was buried. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the time, but not the space. The place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that so, is funny. Yeah, the time capsule was b buried 50 years ago, but apparently, you know, they didn't pay much attention. <laughs> and um, they're going to hire a company that has an underground radar system, apparently, to go dee -dee 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 and find the, uh, oh my goodness. Find the time capsule. But... <laughs> So if you're, you know, you do a time capsule, like publish a map, a treasure map with an X and put it in the newspaper so you can go back and check out, you know, later on. So, you know, that is funny. turn into a much longer time capsule than they in, uh, uh, initially had uh, <laughs> anticipated. So. They'll, yeah, they'll find it eventually. It'll still be serving its purpose in that way. Yeah, that's true. You yeah, know, it's just a more effective time capsule if you can't find it. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> You know what that needs? It needs, to, it needs to stay there longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's not. It's not done yet. It's not. It's no, not, not ready done. yet. It's not old <laughs> enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Well, that's all the interesting stories we have for you today. We hope it's been a fun experience for you. We're having a blast. We are. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> but we hope you'll come back and join us again next Friday, where every week with another 420 Magic Session. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, choose love and enjoy your flight. See you next time. That's right. Take care, everybody. Take care.